Hey guys and girls, so I completely stuffed up this video, so my apologies, but I do have enough content on it to um, make a video and show. I don't want to waste it. So um, the car we're doing the talk on is a 100 series Land Cruiser that we've put a bullet supercharger um, supercharger kit onto and some pacemaker headers and cats. Originally, the video was meant to start off with me showing the product and a walk around and so on. Um, so it's got the Exceedy. Uh, piggyback ECU which is going to be controlling the, the, the tuning duties and um, yeah so I was doing a walk around I must have done the video and deleted it I don't know anyway but anyway um, we'll move into the video we've already installed the supercharger kit and now we're pretty much on the dyno and we're going to pretty much do the walk around on the power and the results um, so my apologies for not giving enough content but I feel what I've given is still informational for people considering uh, putting one of these superchargers onto their 100 series Land Cruiser. In my opinion, it is actually a really awesome upgrade and, and I highly recommend it. So, but anyway, guys, let's let the video roll and we'll go from there. Supercharger kit now all fitted to the car and it's fitted up really nice. I'm actually quite impressed with how nice the unit fits. And one other thing we did do while we're at it, we fitted some pacemaker extractors and high flow cats. Um, one thing I will say is if you're planning on doing this from home, don't do it, like seriously, go and pay another shop to do it. Your time is worth way more money at home with your family or friends or having a barbie or getting on the cans, whatever, um, than it is killing your arms, forearms, and I mean, it's a nightmare. It's just the worst job, especially the passenger side. It's horrible. So uh, if you love a challenge, by all means, go and do it. But man, I could think of better things to do on my time on the weekend than fit a set of extractors to one of these things. So they aren't really fun, um, but anyway, we hear about the supercharger. So it has worked out really, really good. I'm actually very impressed with how good this kit is. Um, the guys at Bullet have done a great job in supplying it with all the hardware required to get the job done and to do it in a nice fashion. So um, the only thing that really needs some custom work is the radiator um, top outlet. So you can see there we've had to cut that and shorten it. So it's actually shortened by 70 millimeters and that's to allow the clearance for the belt to come back down through here. Um, I'll get the camera in there. I'm, I'm using my phone, the GoPro just keeps overheating. So um, that looks like it's really close there, but it actually has got room. So, but um, yeah, so that's the only thing you really have to do. So if you're planning on doing one of these kits from home, um, you will have to take that off, cut it down, shorten it, and then aluminium weld it. Um, yeah, which is pretty easy. You can get anyone to do that for you. Um, it comes, obviously, that's your header tank there for the cooling system. It's got the radiator, which is positioned in the front, down in there, beyond the grill. Um, uses the factory air box. It does come with its own intake tube, which is that one there. And um, otherwise, it's a very simple, easy kit to install. It does retain the factory injectors, and you do put a high-flow fuel pump in the tank. Um, yeah, look, a 10 out of 10 for how it fits. It actually does fit really well, and it's a great job. And the other thing that caught me out was I didn't have the instructions when I fitted it, so and I didn't know that we had to modify the neck. But other than that, look, it's not really a big deal. So but, um, let's have a talk about the dyno. So as you can see there, that's the standard, um, the red line here, which is tucked away in the bottom. So that's that standard line there is stock power, which is 104, 114 kilowatts. And then after the supercharger installed, it's 188 kilowatts. Now I know it's got the headers on there um, and a few people will say, you know, the headers would help or whatever. I've done a few of these back to back. The headers actually don't give any more power to be completely honest with you. Um, where the issue is is that the factory cat converters will eventually blow out. And now that we've got the blower on there and the exhaust temperatures will increase, um, we opted to go for a more robust catalytic converter, hence why we use the pacemaker stuff. Um, putting the, the headers on there will help with reducing exhaust gas temperature. Um, and that is a good thing for longevity. So although they don't increase the power, they do remove some temperature in the exhaust and that is a win-win for anything in this sort of application. So, but let's have a talk about the torque and what's happened. So this dotted line here is the torque line in stock form. And then this is our new torque line up here. So you can see it's picked up 100 newton meters of extra torque off the bottom up to 2000 revs. And then from 2000 revs, it progressively increases to 140 newton meters of extra torque all the way to red line, which is 5,500 revs. Um, quite usable and exactly what you need in a car like this. This is a petrol car, so it is going to rev more than a diesel. But at the end of the day, it's not a drag car. It's not built for circuit racing. It's built for putting the trailer in the back, you know, 
caravaning or you know front a load to the tip whatever it is it's a workhorse and that's that's how we use it we use it as a workhorse to you know better ourselves in that, in that sense like you just don't need to go around racing and flogging it so it's not all about making top end power could it make 200 kilowatts absolutely do we need to no we don't uh, we want reliability we want something that's going to go out and do exactly what you need it to do you want to pull up you know come up to a hill and overtake a car well you can do that now you want to you know like a tight road you got to get around something where well, you can put the foot down now and it goes this is going to respond exceptionally well to throttle and once you squeeze the throttle it's just going to just pull like a freight train so you know what more do you want from a 100 series land cruiser you got to be you, you got to be realistic in your expectations on what you're going to get so um, for the guys who are going to come on here and carry on about, oh, you know, for that sort of money, I'd expect way more power. Well, you know what? Well, we can make more power, but we don't need to make more power. Um, we had a target, we had a goal, and we had a certain thing that it needed to do, and we've done that. We've, we've ticked all the boxes. So, um, you know, change a few things around, yeah, you certainly get more power into it. So it's only got like five, 5.4 pound of boost in it. So that's your boost there. Um, you know, so for five pound a boost to increase the power by that much and get that much of an increase in torque, I think that's exceptionally good. Um, bring that up to 10 pound and mate, you're gonna be like high 200 kilowatts. So, but yeah, that comes with other things too. So, but anyway, guys, that's the Bullet Supercharger Kit for the 100 Series Land Cruiser. Um, it does use the Exceedy Uni chip. Sorry, not the Uni chip. It use, yeah, it uses the Exceedy um processor which i'll come, come around and show you now i always get all these chip things mixed up i do apologize um this day and age i don't really use them much these days so you forget what the names are but yeah xcd is that's the unit there so it's all plugged in it's all wired into the unit um i do now that i've finished tuning it i've got to pack it all away but um look it works really well like i said it's, it's intended for a certain target and certain audience and it does exactly what we needed to do so Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate your time, and we will see you on the next one. Catch ya.